Dr. Amy Moore, Cognitive Psychologist and Director of Research at LearningRx Headquarters in Colorado Springs. And I'm gonna answer questions that you all have asked about the brain and brain training. How does stress affect the brain? Chronic stress kills existing brain cells and it stops the production of new ones. So when you're stressed, your body releases cortisol and cortisol doesn't dissipate in your body under chronic stress. So it hangs out and it produces a surplus of glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter. And glutamate in turn produces unattached oxygen molecules called free radicals that attack and rupture the cell walls of brain cells and cause them to die. And if that weren't bad enough, cortisol also inhibits your hippocampus from generating new neurons that are responsible for memory. And new neurons need a special protein called BDNF in order to grow. Excess cortisol inhibits the production of BDNF. So no BDNF, no new neurons. Chronic stress also impacts the part of the brain that's responsible for regulating our emotions, called the amygdala. So chronic stress is associated with increased fear and anxiety, depression, and even anger. So it's important to manage our stress responses if we want to have optimal brain function. Hey, for more fantastic information about the brain, be sure to visit our blog at modernbrainjournal.org. Tune into my podcast, Brainy Moms, and visit our website at learningrx.com.